Waza. Hello, hello, my beautiful, beautiful people of the world. Where's my music? We got in here. Jeromathan. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm starting a little earlier than I, I do sometimes. Right, game going. All right. Um, some pretty big updates um coming our way. Obviously, we saw the videos about um big old dev video. You know, obviously with Heath, New Continent, um, Fairy Kings, all kinds of stuff there. But we did get the big balance update on the Korea patch. It was pretty big. Um, Chow dead. Officially. Probably best. I don't think I didn't think he was that crazy, but he's also like I don't know. They hit him pretty hard. And they hit him pretty hard. There it is. Update now. And honestly, I don't think they hurt Kina that bad. Kina Kina's gonna be just fine. Somebody needs to explain this undead formula to me. I got everything else, but the damage amount is adjusted as the undead buff effect is changed so that it is not affected by defense power like continuous damage. Harmful effects. I have Nikki. It's like uh, receive a portion of recovery as damage when receiving recovery that does not recover HP up to level ten. So oh, that's this. Interesting. I can just turn that on and off. Perfect. Uh, Sean says, so I have randomly come across a lot of LD scrolls today. Randomly. Oh, I wonder how that happened. Uh, but Kina still dominates Korea. Uh, well, we'll see, at least. We'll see. I mean, the, the patch literally just hit. So it's going to take some time. But I don't think it's going to hurt that bad. Pull a cruise. All right. Yeah. I would I would get it out of our hopes and dreams, Ellis, that uh, we're ever gonna get any kind of collaboration monster that is a monster version, like a Comptuous version. I just don't get it. I don't. Do we not have the same legal team? Do we not have the same like deal writers? Like, what what's happening? Like, how how do we do it so well in Sky Arena and just flop so hard over here on Chronicles? Yo, what's up, Max? Glad you caught the stream, man. But yeah, um, 
Undead, the damage amount is adjusted as the undead debuff effect is changed so that it's not affected by defense power. I, I, I don't know what this means. So somebody smarter than me needs to explain this part. And is this better or worse for undead? Like, can I bring out my Nikki? And can I use her? Um... Yeah, um, I need to go back and see exactly what they said in that video. Um, like, so is it they're giving us six to choose from? Or is it like there is a percentage chance based off of the six that you choose? Right? Like, I choose six and then it's like, because that happens a lot in Sky Arena too. Like, here, choose these six monsters or five monsters and you'll have a higher chance of getting those monsters. Go back and pull up that video. It was self transmogrification I don't remember where it was exactly. Hold on. Was it a fresh gaming experience? Oh yeah, they're going to have like some mini game like I still think like a kind of cool little card game would be cool with um with all the monsters and like little stats and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. You know, they've got all the monsters kind of built out. Um Oh, I got so much chat going on. My bad, guys. I'm over here just trying to figure stuff out. Uh, Max is hoping to get Light Monkey. Yeah, man, Light Monkey, very strong still. Even with Jemire out there, the Jemire is really the only counter to that. So just ban Jemire. Um, yeah, I, it made it sound like it was the earlier Mons. Like you were going to have like options of some of the earlier Mons. So you probably won't have Lima or like because the Oracles came out after the release of the game. Monkey magic. Yeah, monkey magic, monkey magic. Yeah, it's true. No, but monkeys are, are still very, very strong. Baldus, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. You got Dark Monkey the other day. Very difficult. Hey, he's pretty strong, too. I wouldn't put Dark Monkey aside. He's he's pretty strong. Uh, thinking about swapping to Cleef. Any advice? Can I see your stats? Yeah, man, of course. I have Eleanor. I don't know if it's good with him. You have Eleanor? Yeah. Eleanor is going to carry you through every piece of content available in this game. Eleanor is one of, is probably going to be one of the six monsters that they give us, which I'm excited for because I might just pick Eleanor. We'll see. But at the same time, I don't really need monsters to help me through uh, content. I like Lynette for Battlefield, but I can't get her to work well in Brawl. Um, she's She's got to be built well, but she is phenomenal. She just does so much with her kit. Lynette, she does so much with her kit. And that's that's her biggest thing, and she's so versatile. Root, strip, defense break, like all the things you want. Is that him? I am he. Well, Farmer's here. Farmer has answers to all our questions. Like the six LD monsters that they were talking about, what, what does that mean? Is it just like the first six monsters in, you know, the game? Or is it like we get to choose six? Hold on, this is, I finally found it. Light dark pickup event. Players can choose from approximately six light and dark monster, which was, yeah, players can choose from. One during the event. Players can choose from approximately six light and dark mods, which were released at the early. So I think they're, yeah, like you were saying earlier. Uh, well, I, I, all monsters, but it says approximately six were released at the early phase of the game. So what that makes me feel like that it's just like they're going to pick, you know, 
six or so popular light dark monsters, right? You know, it's probably gonna be, you know, Eleanor, uh, I, you know, maybe Isis. Um, I don't know. You got a couple dark ones as well. You know, maybe mermaid or something. We're making a list by gathering favorite monsters. Yeah, so they're making a list of monsters that we're going to choose from. Highly preferred by our users. So it's going to be meta monsters. At least that's what that makes it sound like. The other thing that I didn't like, though, it said with a chance to obtain one during the event. I didn't really care for that. What does that mean? I, I need I need definitive answers. Whether is this a chance to get an LD out of these six or is it like here's the six you summon and you can get one of the six you don't get to pick. Top choice, and then you'll get a chance to get one of them randomly. That make that makes sense, Ralph. That makes sense. I just like I need confirmation. I need to know. Like none of this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Kino wasn't hurt that bad. She'll be all right. Kino will live. But yeah, if I had any monster right now, I don't know. I might do. Uh, I might do better. That is really strong. Yeah, Kyle, I think that's I think that's probably makes the most sense. Like, here's your top six. Be happy with whatever you get. Plebeian free to play scum is what they're telling us. I don't think, though, I'm always bringing other healers like my whole my whole lineup is support and knights. But that might change in the future with Cleef becoming slightly tankier, being able to help his team survive a little bit more. But I always have such problems with Beta, man. Such problems with Beta. I don't know, though. I don't know. It's probably for me going to be Eleanor, Beta, I guess Lynette. I do. I do really want Neftis. I do really want Neftis. Yeah, they. You're right, Sean. They didn't look like completely redefining the character or anything, but they did look like it was something, right? They looked like it was something. I don't, Jesse's, uh, Jesse. You gotta take that up with Farmer. Farmer doesn't like the the Veramos buff. Farmer calls it a nerf. Farmer's a little crazy, little 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 too much of that uh that rice beer. I don't know. I think I think the um, cleansing your team and provoke, even if it's small, is is slightly better. I, for Neftis for me is more of just like a Sky Arena thing. Like I love Neftis so much, just as like a monster. I don't. Know. It, it's less about like is she super meta, and more just like I'd like to have Neftis. <laughs> Eleonora. Eleonora. Beta, Lynette, Isis, Light Monkey King, Dark Moon, Frigate, best options, I guess. Yeah, I already have a Frigate, which is why I'm leaning against putting Eleanor in. Because it's like, I have sort of like a mini Eleanor in some ways. It's nowhere near as good as Eleanor, but it it, it it works in a similar way. Maybe I'll put Eridos in there just to spite Agent Smith. You see that he pulled the dark one, too. <laughs> He'll be on here in a little bit. 
15 minutes or so. But that's the thing with Veramos, though. How many times are you going for the knights first? You know what I'm saying? The knights are typically one of the last ones to go for. Typically, right? And you chew through some of the other supports and you chew through some of the uh, uh, the DPS, right? And so in that case, Veramos is helping to keep alive the rest of his team. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. Oh, I need more of these. Um... I need to, yeah, I need like 20 more of these Eagle Rays to finish up my collection challenge. What, do we have a Wahi banner? I got 36 of them. Nice. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, Chronicle says, our farmer says, Eleanor, Frigate, Lynette, Laura. Yeah, big Laura. Uh, and Dark Pumpkin. Yeah, Dark Pumpkin's pretty nasty. Chronicle, <laughs> farmer says, ISIS is bad. Oof, those are, those are some fighting words for this community. But I kind of agree with you a little bit, farmer. I, every time I've gone against an ISIS, I mean, there's been a, a couple cases where it's been fine and the ISIS des destroys me, but. I feel like more often than not, it's not a problem. Isis for B Battlefield for sure. Sean like dreams about Battlefield. Okay, saving up that energy for tomorrow because tomorrow we spamming more rupture dungeon because I'm basically done with my set finally. Wait, Farmer, you went with the five mana set, right? Yeah, you're you went with the five mana set. I went with the preacher set and I'm I'm trying it out. We'll see how it goes. I'm also finishing up my first Metis set finally. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to keep that one. Do I have any more trinkets? I think this is just going to be plus 14. What is this? Another 20? I, it might be, it might just be the answer. Uh, let me go check my other summoner real quick. Make sure I don't have that extra trinket to do another, uh, another succession. Yeah, so farmer, six stars in seal. Oh my god, is so much cheaper to do succession method. I did it. I did it all with mythic, but I just blew blew my resources. But that's where all of my oh yeah, here they are. Nice. That's where all of my substats were though. All of my substats were on mythic gear. And I couldn't do anything about it. It's just like I had no good substats on any six star gear. Bro, y'all already, already hit 100 messages in chat. We barely started the stream. Y'all are nutty. While you're at it, since y'all are kind of hyped up on some sort of juice, why don't y'all go like the stream too? You know, just as a, a common courtesy for the content that you are consuming at the moment. Y'all are, y'all are giga chads. I appreciate it. So, Booninator, Cleef Buffs. Cleef Buffs seem reasonable, but not what I'm looking for in the end of things. Like, um, hold on. Let's look at Cliff. Cliff Buffs. We love a good Cliff Buff. So, Guardian Shield, which is a 
is his passive effect. That's right. So, let's see. Iron Shield, Magic Shield, Enhanced Shield. Wait, which one's Guardian Shield? Oh, it's probably this one. Yeah, Protection Shield. Uh, let's see. Changing to... Uh, when hit reduction and damage received is 10% additional. Hit by a boss, reduction and damage received 10%. You see this though? Um, when hit by a teammate, reduction in damage received by summon 10%. There's your Trinity buff right there. Uh, armored shield. Uh, which I'm guessing is the... This one is the iron shield. Uh, it's every 40 seconds so what does that mean but before it was only this was a continuous effect Incre increases defense of team monsters if your hp is below a certain if caster's hp is below 70 percent monster defense 20 percent. okay so now we got applying crowd control to an enemy grants you a shield when applying crowd control effect to an enemy shields 10 percent of your maximum health for seven seconds I don't know. Yeah, Jesse's when hit by a teammate, it's like Trinity. Shield reinforcement. I think it's this one, Magic Shield. If Caster's HP is above 70% monster res, it's getting changed to, uh, oh no, defense increase 30%. Shield reinforcement. This one, this, it's this one. It's getting changed to 20% additional. You and your teammates defenses. I, I use it some. I've been using it more. I've got it on right now, Sean, actually. Defense increase 30%. So just an extra D. Um, we get 20% more additional. So just more defense up. On this one. Ice bug, frozen armor. It's like, it's a step in the right direction, but they're definitely not fundamentally reworking him at all. So it says 20% additional defense. I'm guessing it's 50%. Um, so Wind Boomerang is one that's getting changed actually. Which is this one, which I don't think anybody really uses this one. At least in PvP, because it's more of a PvE thing, I think. <laughs> dark Shield. Yeah, we are getting our Endure back on Dark. Y'all saw that? Giga Chad, Cleef Mains, Unite. We are going to be getting our Endure back. On dark. It's pretty exciting. But um the big changes um is 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 Chow. I think the, the biggest winner and loser is Chow and Leo in this buff and patch. It is how it used to be, Sean. It is how it used to be. We used to have it. That was it Cleef was kind of broken at that time, early game. Uh, with that dark shield.
So biggest movers for sure is Chow and Leo. Yeah, it isn't exactly, but it's it's close. We're getting it back. So Chow, who farmer had to point this out to me earlier because I, I was confused as usual. So got the highlighted blue text here that says that we are getting 10%, you know, the same when used as a soul link damage increase 10% per dragon soul level, right? That's still the same or change, I guess. I don't see how that's changed, but then you instantly upon using that skill, get all of that dragon soul reduced by 10 stages that wasn't highlighted. So you can see in the in the uh, notes right now. I mean, he was already soul linked. Uh, it's the getting rid of the dragon soul upon using justice. If you guys see in his current state right now. Yeah, I was super confused too, Sean and farmers like, no, you idiot. This is what's actually happening. And this is why it's a massive nerve. Because at first I was like, wait, is this just a change? Like what's happening? No, he's removing all of the dragon soul that's giving him that additional damage upon one use of justice. Honestly, I feel like that's a little much. Honestly, they could have said remove, uh, re remove two. Exactly. See, it's word for word. I don't, I don't mince words around here, farmer. I make sure that, you know, the source gets quoted exactly. Um, yeah, the child change is necessary, but I think it's too much. I think it's too much. I think he's dead now. Because now it's like you use this skill one time, you get one one shot ability or one like high damage ability, and then it's back to rebuilding. And it does take some time to rebuild that dragon soul back up. See, they forgot that the American audience in the notes here, they forgot to highlight it. So I don't know, like, what am I supposed to do? If it's not in blue, I don't read. Premium daughter. <laughs> so you basically get one chance, one shot. I don't think it's fine. I think they should have removed. I think they should have taken the, instead of Dragon Soul reduced by 10 stages, do it like by, by three or something like that. So that way it's not like, you know, reduce his damage a lot with each hit, right? Because he was just going off. Every hit was just maximum damage doing like one-shotting Orbeas and Solettas. He does stack faster, right? So he does stack faster. And I do see that when debilitating effect, let's show it down here. When debilitating effect is removed, Dragon Soul stage two cannot be removed. So he is going to be building it back. So that is a thing. Um, but really a lot of us were just waiting for Chow to get ultimate. He, we hit ultimate, we, we get max 10 stacks and we just keep spamming. But the thing is, I think it's just going to be a brawly Healy match again. You know what I'm saying? He's going to do a lot of damage over time, but it's not as much burst as he was before. Rafi, what's up, man? But yes, the other big winner here, or the big winner here, I think is Leo. It is busted. Yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. Nobody, no, everybody said that he needed to be nerfed. Everybody knows he needed to be nerfed. Well, I'm just saying that it might be too much. We will have to see. We will have to see. Like, we haven't touched Ophelia. We haven't touched Lima. We haven't touched, you know, Luis, right? There's plenty of broken monsters out there. So the big thing with Leo here, and I'm actually in love with this change because it literally is bringing his identity back um, from Sky Arena. And in Sky Arena, uh, we had like attack speed, we had uh, speed, which meant who went first in a turn based, right? And he would reduce everybody on the field to his speed, right? So he would be the, the baseline of speed and everybody else's speed was based off of his. So you typically build your Leo super, super slow speed, right? We're getting that. It's true, Jesse. It's true. 
it needed to be nerfed, but you know, we can say, we're allowed to say if it's too much. We're allowed to have that opinion if we think it's too much. So yes, this man right here, our friend Leo, uh, I'm excited. I, I do draft Leo a lot. You guys know that are watching. I do draft Leo quite a bit, um, you know, up against Eleanor's and, and frigates and, and other stuff like that. Um, but now he has way more utility. Way more utility. He's going to reduce the attack speed of all your archers, all your beast riders, your solettas, your kinas that want to do the attack speed up. So he will reduce everybody's attack speed down to his own, which is which is phenomenal. So he's becoming he's becoming the must ban or the force ban, depending on what you want to do. Right. If you're bringing a team of beast riders and you got a Kena on water staff, you got to ban the Leo. I'm going to be last picking Leo. You got to ban him. And all of a sudden I get my whole team that I wanted. Oh, yeah, I think he is now these. I agree with that, Martin. He is now the strongest counter pick. Like, even like Josephine into Juno, can, I can deal with that sometimes. I can deal with that. Yeah, where is my Leo? Hold up. It's time to time to let Leo on my best runes. Because right now he's definitely not. Yeah, his base speed is what, 100? Yeah. Nope, this man will be like, he'll be landing basic attacks like this. What's that? That's true, Jezzies. That's true. 102? I don't know. This says plus 14, and attack speed is 14. True, yeah, you could just ban him, but at least you get the rest of the team that you want, right? You can pick whatever broken LD you want, and you have to ban this. Oh, oh, they changed his base stat. Oh, I see. My bad. I, I wasn't sure what you guys were talking about. <laughs> yeah, right now it's at 100, but... um, Damn. 49 on Korea? Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, so we're definitely going to be rebuilding our Leo to make sure that he is uh, top-notch ready to go. He will be the most bannable monster for sure. Um, I am also excited that all the Chakrams... I'm excited that all the Chakrams and the Boomerangs are all getting nice little buffs. Um, I don't know if you guys seen this one. So, like, we got... Um, Chakram fire, Chakram water, Chakram wind. Mostly it's this, um, um, most of them is this cleanse ability, the self cleanse. Which is kind of nice. Um, so they can be in the, the fray a little bit. They can be in the brawl a little bit. Um, some of the boomerangs got changed too. Yeah, all the chakrams got buffed. Uh, most of the boomerangs did too. And I think they were already pretty decent in a siege or siege sort of setting, but now I, they're just going to be even better. So I have been purchasing all of the pieces that I can in the exchange center for our uh, our girls. Exactly, Martin. That's the thing. It's going to be hurting Saletas too. Let me see if it says specifically in here. Um, the attack speed of all enemy summons and ally summons, except for opponents with the same skill. Okay, hold up. It does say summons. So maybe it's not messing with Saletta. Yeah, you're. I think you're right, Martin. I think you're right. 
So the attack speed of all enemy summons and ally summons, except for opponents with the same skill, is limited to less than your attack speed. Yep, monster only. Only in Arena and Conquest War. So you can't do it in Battlefield. So pretty big. Um, who else got buffed? Uh, all the chakrams and all the booms. We love that. Um, Fire Undine. She was actually used in the tournament, if you guys didn't realize. Um, the tournament we had last last month, month before that. Uh, she was used pretty effectively already. I don't know exactly what that one is, Mav, except for opponents with the same skill. I'm wondering if it has to do with, um, like, if... Wait, they can't run another Leo, though. I guess maybe an arena, if... You run into a Leo in arena. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that one is. So fire Undine gets uh, a little bit of help. Fire mermaid. Nice. All right. Somebody explain the Perno one. Attacks enemies that are not affected by crowd control effects first attacks the enemy target once inflicting damage that ignores the target's damage reduction effect and increases the amount okay so this is what it normally is removing immunity the tax enemies that are not affected by crowd control effects first it will target bosses first not affected by crowd control effects first but i mean i guess if if monsters don't have crowd control on them target a boss that can but isn't that all already what it does or is it just like it's ai will do that now so is that just like an ai change slightly confusing I will say when I bring him into arena, like sometimes he can be a little stupid or she can be a little stupid. So may maybe this will help. All right. So that's all I needed to know. It's like, cause normally I'm using him as a soul link monster. So that didn't make any sense to me. I like never not have him as a soul link monster. So that makes sense that it's just sort of an AI thing. Interesting. already realizing that their light fairy queen sucked six was it really six mana it was really six mana that makes sense jesse's mm. it's kind of crazy that there is a monster in the game that has a six mana cost But they reduced her her healing by a significant amount. And I guess they reduced the skill cooldown by a little bit. It's still so freaking expensive. There's your boy Dark Infrit getting a massive overhaul. Dark Valkyrie Trinity. She does the same thing. Except a lot of her extra damage won't do damage to your team, though. Is Anvelagel also six mana? He might be. He might have been six mana before. That's why nobody uses him. He just doesn't do enough for the amount of mana cost. It is five mana now. I mean, it's a big skill. I mean, removing all harmful effects is pretty big. But then again, Ophelia can do two. Exactly. Uh, honestly, five mana cost means you're not a PvP monster. <laughs> I 
Oh, true, yeah. I'm not awakened. Um, and Dark Chimera. All our 0-2 havers. Four mana, 26 seconds. Each hit has a certain probability to remove one strike or one buff from the target. And he hits three times. So that's three, three strips. 70% probability. Oh, I also did notice that a lot of, I think it was especially in the boomerangs, a lot of the probabilities went up to land defense break, to land unrecoverables, attack power reductions, all of the stuff that they land, the debuffs, they upped it to like 90% probability, which in my opinion, I love because that's one of the biggest things I hate is that when I press a button and I use four mana, I want the effect of that skill to happen. And so often when it doesn't, it's just like you lose the game. So it's like, I use a skill. I want to know that it's happening on the field. Click. It happened. They're still mid? Nah. I mean, for PvP, you got to bring two of them in. So good luck with that. I, they're still pretty good, in my opinion. They saw your Toa video on your chakra. Well, to be fair, she had 40% accuracy. So... But yes, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I'll, I'll take a little bit of heat on that one. I'll take a little bit of the, the L for that. All right. Um, let's do a little bit of some PVP. We do have an hour. How bad's the Kena nerf in action? I don't know. You'll have to. It literally just happened in Korea. Just happened in Korea. So I couldn't tell you. But uh, most of us agree it's not that bad. Keen is going to be just fine. We're going to use Ari again today. Well, I mean, they're they're not going to know either. <laughs> it literally just came out today. So, they're they're going to have to they're going to have to test it. Yeah, I was I was watching a little bit more Ari gameplay and it's just like, you know what? She, I probably was just using her wrong and I need to try again. Yeah, farmers in chat. Like, he's he's doing his best. Uh, running two accounts is crazy, or three accounts, or whatever the heck you're running over there. Oh, I need to go do that one. Yeah, because it's longer now, right? The the immunity is longer. So here's the thing. It it's longer, but it's also um harder to get out, right? It doesn't come out as often. So it, at least it gives you more time to strip it, I guess. And then do something with that strip. Because that's the thing with the keen is I would always like I'd set up all my mons, I would strip it, and you know, I'm ready to go for one of my attacks, and like before I can even switch monsters to do another attack. She's already got it back up. So I think this is going to help a little bit. Enhance a rune. Let's go find a juicy rune to enhance, yeah? Ooh. 
Oof, that's a juicy rune. Nice, even, across-the-board brawler rune. I think this goes to... Yeah, it's already just as good. And I still got to put stuff on it. Probably a little more defense, honestly. Brother Arash. Arash, woo. I am doing well. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you guys looking out for me. Okay. Uh, I think, did we mine everything yet? Not yet. Almost there. Bro has a grinding addiction. Do you know me? Do you know how little I like to grind? I like to grind when the gameplay is fun. And I'm doing it with fun people. Perfect example, Warframe. Every single time I bring up Warframe, I need to play Warframe again. God, I loved it so much. The grindy as hell game. But boy, was it freaking fun. All right. All done with the festival mining. Let's go be a Giga Chad, yeah? Bring the, the usual suspects. We got Ari here. I did bring Ardella the other day. Kind of took out a, a cleef. She's still just so squishy. Like, I, she's 75,000 HP, over 4K, like 4,500 defense. And it's just like, she gets focused, she gets focused. Baker already? Baker lurking, waiting for that button. <coughs> First pick Ophelia, Paladin's War Chronicles. Ooh, straight into it, eh? Straight into it. <clears throat> Let's use them while we can. Use them while we can. Applies Bomb and Oblivion. More bombs. Yikes. He's going full bomb bomber on us. Ooh, big hills that cleanses oblivion. Um, Annabelle right now, I think, is the only one that cleanses CC effects. <laughs> Which he banned because he wants to oblivion me. So he went double healer and the Dover. If 
For the most part, Cleve, Cleve can tank the bombs, yeah, but especially now on my new set, I'm definitely more tanking. A lot happening in this brawl right here. Now, Chasun is really going to work. Uh, Chow just not doing what he needs to do right now. Finally. Oh, he's doing pretty good there. That Chasun is really keeping him up. I never really like have too much problem with Chasun, but <laughs> the name's Dover. Ben Dover. How is Chow? Uh, so Chow is going to be dead here in the next patch, the next balance patch. Well, we'll see. It's still up for debate. Close to death. Close to death. No, Cleep Buff is not live. No, we're gonna, gonna get it for like what, two weeks? It's in Korea though. Yeah, Light Cleave is pretty strong with blind. Uh, Light Cleave is pretty strong. No, you're right, Jazzy. I'm, I just like, I'm dumb. That's right, Giga Strong Leo. Leo Leo is going to be the counter pick meta creation monster. Like you are going to pick ban around that monster moving forward. So what they did to Chow, I mean, we can pull it back up on the board real quick. Is so you know how you build up his dragon soul to 10. Typically you can do that through an ultimate really really quickly. You build up his dragon soul to 10, and then you can just spam his skill one over and over and over again, doing massive amounts of damage. And then you kill somebody like you can snipe Orbeas and Saletas in like one to two hits. Right. So now the big thing that they change is right here. Every time that you use the justice skill, which is the one that you typically use, it is going to be it's going to reduce all your dragon soul down to nothing. And you have to rebuild it. Now, he will be able to rebuild it quicker now, but it'll be a big change. Oh, my God. Uh, can I link the update in chat? Yeah. You'll have to uh, do the... Um Google Translate, right click, translate, whatever. <laughs> of course, Charles. All right, here we go again. This absolute 
pathetic nonsense. Well, I guess I could use suppression on her, right? In theory, I could. This is an Ari pick thing right here, right? Right? I could use the Ari skill one on the Eleanor. I don't have any healing. I just realized I, I went full ham into some weirdness and I don't have any healing, so I'm dead. So there's that. <clears throat> Congratulations to Topher for his amazing pick bands. He's an absolute giga chat at pick banning. All right. That was dumb. One little affiliate, I could have had that no problem. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. This, uh, this Aletta knows what's up. Ban Light Cleave. Instant. Let's go. Um, you know, I'm going to have some fun, I think. Oh, wait. He doesn't have stuff on. Shit. Um, let's go. Um, uh, no, let's do that one. Okay, double heals. I wish I had more unrecoverable, like, stuff. Like, I don't know, like, none of my monsters, like, that I typically have come with, like, unrecoverable. What do I rate twin buff? Good. I think they're already still decent. Like they, they have their, their picks and siege and stuff, but you're just too strong one wing. They know you. Ah. 
How is this Masha not dying, man? What the hell? Ah, these archers they're just so freaking tanky like what the hell this is why cleef sucks man he just can't kill anything <sighs> now granted i'm on my breacher set which is tankier but like that doesn't matter like tanky doesn't matter right now for cleef you just get stacked with debuffs anyway It's like you get stacked with debuffs and then doesn't matter. You could have 100k HP, 8,000 defense. means nothing. Osaba bin Lao. Okay. I didn't really like that Dark Staff. Uh, you know what? Just maybe. Just maybe. That's true, Yashin. It really is a skill issue. I also spam my skills way too much. I'm a skill spammer. Yes, sir. Well, next patch, he will be. Take out the threat. That's true, Jojo. But dead chows is more clickable. <laughs> mm. I think we got this without Kumar. They're bringing Wusa. Makes it really tough. Okay, so you honestly don't have a ton of healing. They have a little bit. They have enough. Behind Luis shields, Luis invincibility, and uh, Chow shields and immunity. Oof. Let's get that blind on her right away. Big ol' stuns. We love that. Like, look how weak I am. Like, I am the target. Like, why why focus monsters when you could focus the cleave? Like, it's just so simple. All right. Doing okay. We are doing okay, brothers and sisters. We will come through this in the end. Mm. 
Come on. Stop provoking me. Get this immunity off, yeah? Nope. Still more immunity. We're gonna have to get to another hole, won't we? Alright, here we go. Come on. Oh, back up to invincibility. Ah, I just... What do you do? Just invincibility. I like you can't. Where is my defense break? Go green weapon. Yeah, you're right. Get that. Get that little bit of a uh, strip, maybe. There we go, got her. Imagine strips existing. I mean, technically we have strip on my skill one, but it doesn't, it doesn't work. Better than zero chance to strip. That is true. I am going from no strip ability to 0% chance to strip. That is, that is a rather big difference. That's true. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I just got Osama now. Nice. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> First pig chow panic. <laughs> Indeed. Panic inducing chow. Bye bye, ciao. He knows. He knows. His summoner is the weakest link. Ah, he banned his own admire. That's right. Kumar wouldn't have been that effective with uh, Woos on the board. Mm. Ow. Ow. Mm. 
Got her. Owie. Okay, just gotta wait for that immunity to be gone. Oh, get out of here. You thought? Man, I wish Cleef would be uh, uh, designed as a tank and not as a semi-tank warrior who doesn't really have an identity. It, you are literally repeating exactly what I say all the time. I 100% agree with you. Like, Cleef, he, Cleef doesn't have an identity. I am happy that I'm still winning brawls, though. In, you know, I am on my new set here. So it was a little bit worrisome. Full DPS, five foot six tank. <laughs> we just, what we need to do is we need to put massive, you know, triple D boobas on Cleef and instantly he's gonna get the biggest buffs imaginable. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't make that like a twitch sound. Bikini Cleef Transmog, indeed. Let's try it out. Let's try it. See how it goes, y'all. See if she doesn't just get nuked. We, we kind of do, actually. Okay, so we do get to play with this. Giggity. Skill cooldown effect. So we get a little bit of that. Plus, we just gotta use use skill one all the time. That that's what that's it. That's it. That's our game plan. Oh, she got rid of it anyway. Dang it! I still have remove immunity though. So that's something. That's gonna help with destroying beta. Ah. But Betta's never going to die, though, so, like, what's the actual point? Oh, she might die. Oh. Uh, and Betta's back up to full health. It's like, it's just impossible to get through anything. Like, you try to go for the Orbia, she's never gonna die. 
Because we're constantly provoked. Oh, skill one, did that strip anything? Of course not. We got something going. Oh, we got the better. Ho, 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 what? Oh, what? Excuse me? Hold up. Ah, dumb of me. Okay, Kumar, you're an idiot. Okay, get the Luis. Get the Luis. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. This is Cleef on his non DPS build right here. Cleef on his non DPS build. Maybe, maybe Windstaff is just OP, man. I know he does a lot of damage on that um, second skill on his Windstaff. I will say another underrated combo is the Kumar Ophelia. Filthy whale damage. I know, man, that 10 bucks a month is really, really kicking all these free to players. Maybe that water, maybe it's just that slow trickle over time effect. Um, So I think one of the underrated or under overlooked things is this part of her passive when a dot effect is applied, recover HP by 100% of defense. So she's healing all the time when Kumar is landing, um, when Kumar is landing his stuff, uh, his fire, which is what I love. I love that combo. And plus like root and silence is really strong too. But this one right here is level two burn for 20 seconds. Obviously, silence too. And then it's also strong with Juno because Juno, when she goes to strip, uh, turns the buffs into dots. So it's a it's a solid solid combo there. Keep missing the Q, dang! One of these days, hey, I'm gonna run out of opponents, and it's gonna be you. If we keep doing this enough. Ha <laughs> ha, what do we say? Let's do this. I gotta I gotta put chat in its place. One second. All right, first pick on the Ophelia. We're going to do it to him, boys. While we still got some time left on him, we're going to do it to him. And we're going to bring in our two bestest beefy boys. Okay. Ooh, okay, 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 or mid damage. Don't really have a lot of that mid damage. Chow is really where it's at. Oh, he doing it to me. He doing it to me. Uh, 
Um, yikes, my boys. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that thing because I think I can kill something. My Kumar is going to get messed up. Which one of his waters is he banning? Uh, Gianna? Um, give me a second here. Let me go. I only got that for healing. Uh, Gianna is there. I'll have to show you some more afterwards. Oh, he got uh, he got that invincibility right off there. Oh, nice. He's already got old man. What the hell? What the hell? Get off of me. Genos is popping off. I gotta let Genos get out of his mode. Or not Genos, Garu. Oh, pop that indoor, man. Got the indoor popped. Uh, Garu's back to regular. You, you're right, Booney. Yeah, you're right. I'm dumb. I'm big dumb. All right, he's rooted right now. Chow, it's the chow for the win. But you know, Garu to be doing Garu things. GG a one-way. GG, man. Chow, Chow just showing why he needs the nerf he's getting. That Garu is scary a couple times, though. Oof. Oh, it's Marzin. Hey, we got another chatter we got to put in their place. Let's go. It's a Kina, though. So this is going to be this is going to be a rough one. I feel the Kina abusers. Take them to the cleaners, the the Chow and the Genos, Genos, Genos. Sorry, Genos. 
Mmm, got the Garu. Eh, that was the wrong ban. <laughs> oh, we're going to Pound Town. We've got two healers, Ophelia, Defense Breaker with Annabelle, and Cleanse of CC effects. And then Chow just going to do Chow things. But they have the secret sauce, the secret sauce that's going to decimate us, and that is the Kina. Yeah, big yikes. Garu is going ham, man. Holy moly. Oh my god, I can't get through anything right now, man. Average Kina abuser. Let's go, Marzin. Come on. Hey, we got the Varad, but he's just going to switch to the Staffy Staff thing. The Staffy Staff that does Revive E Vive. That is. It's big. That was big. Where's my... Where's my Annabelle? Come here, Annabelle. Oh my god, you freaking idiot. She just runs away from all of the healing. There's the Revenger. Okay, we just got to stay alive. It's going to be harder than it seems. Ah. Oh. Wailing off stream confirmed, right? <laughs> no. 
I've I've honestly gotten less and less. I used to do arena pass too. I don't even I don't do it. I haven't done arena pass for two months. Just the old summers summers pass. I think the last time I bought a pack was dragons. I think that was dragons. I think I bought a twenty five dollar pack. GG Marzen. Pie. All right. Indeed. No, that was a great fight. Like, I was so close a couple times. You finally got that Annabelle, and I was a little bit scared, but. Ophelia just goaded, man. Ophelia Chow, jeez, probably the two best monsters in the game right now, outside of some LDs. Interesting. Ooh, Tessa. Am I scared of the Tessa? I think if I just apply blind on him, I'm not too bad. But he is pretty, like, he's got a lot behind him. The Frigidae, I think, is what I'm most worried about. Because everything else I can Kumar. I can Kumar most things here. Um, I, well, well, do I need the strip? Or do I need the Kumar silences? Silences are pretty dang good. Strip is good too. I don't know. I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, he did get rid of that. So I am running full fire into the. Not sorry on the whatever it's called. I know you've seen said silence, but. Come on, Genos. Ah! Oh, wow, that's incredible. That is incredible. Wait, right, GG. Oh, we did get the Endure out of this guy, though. So, that's, that's the main threat gone. Man, not a single one of those landed a defense break. What the hell?
This is actually kind of nutty, man. This is like the unkillable. Oh, GG. All right, I don't know. The, the healing timeout was going to come eventually. That was going to be tough. We got to figure out this. Uh, we got to figure out our definitions over here, Yasin. <laughs> Whatever you say, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got time for a couple more. Oh, we got Jingor up in chat or up in. Uh... Okay, good pick. Ah, he did it to me. This is why I often ban blue. This is why I ban blue. This is it right there. I have been banning blue on Orbeas more often than I have been banning light and dark. For that exact reason. It's crazy. Just put, you know, put all the CC in the world. Let him uh, not be able to use skills and, you know, useless, useless summoner. Can't use skills, can't move, can't do anything. Just completely shut down. And then you throw a beneficial effect blocker on top of that. Doom, no, no, no. Oh, dang, boy, lids up there. Leona, Kraka, Ophelia. Yeah, Leona does a ton of damage. Yeah, I, I, I've been banning lots of blue because I typically run a lot of fire monsters. Uh, 
I, you know, I run the Ophelia, the Kumar, the Junos, Genos, you know, lots of red monsters. So I tend to just like if I just ban the blue and then I just pick all fire, it's like he can't get more mana back. Oh, that was one of the buffs for Cleef. Uh, one of the buffs for Cleef is it gives us a um, mono regen. You guys saw that? Hold on. Um, task speed decreases. Let's see. Where was it? Thought I read that somewhere. And then run blue for ice armor. See, yeah, true. Oh, that was already part of our kit was the mana. Oh, we only have a 10% chance when hit by a summoner to increase mana by one. That's all we have. I didn't realize that. It's like, it just feels so sluggish. Oh yeah, we already do have the 10%. This needs to be like 30%. That's what I want, you seen. I, I want them to just make him super tanky, lots of provokes, you know, have a little bit of like self heal, um, you know, reduce damage, all that kind of stuff. So that way he's not the primary target. Cause like the range of HP right now is like you range from like 50k HP to like, you know, 90k HP. Hey, it's Wonder Waste. Oh my guildies. And it's like the range of 50k HP to 100 HK HP doesn't matter with the monsters that we have right now. They just delete anything within that range. Well, I lose. <laughs> the broken LDs. I'll just lose now.
Gianna, what? Gianna, excuse me? Excuse me, Gianna? Well, you showing out, girl. You are showing out. Gianna OP confirmed? What? GG Wonderways, man. It's true. Perma stunned on that. Hey, rank 79, not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty big win there. Got a win against Cupi. I lose to Cupi all the time. Got a big win against Marzen. Marcy there. Yeah, we had some big wins today, boys. Some big wins today. Hey, Salty streaming. Ha! Oh, all right, boys. Um, we got to go do some uh, siege here in a bit. Um, I think. Are we up? Oh yeah, we're getting destroyed by infinity. No figure. Oh, I can't. We're going to be attacking these three, so I got to wait a little bit of time. All right. I have to go use the restroom. I don't know. Maybe we got some time for some, uh, some, either some challenge arena or some battlefield. Oh, I was going to show you guys earlier. Now I remembered my arena pa shop here. My brawl shop, I had 6,666 brawl coins. It was a moment, and I kind of messed it up. I needed to finish off these. Cleef HP 896. Let's grab the shield first. Boom! I've been saving for those. Ooh, what are the what do these cost now? Oh, these are like skins you get from uh, achieving things. That's right. Anasu, what's up? Just got done with a pretty decent brawl session. I know, right? You can be as, as thick or as as you know damagey as you want. Like this is a good cleave. It's it's good. It's not phenomenal. I don't have any like uh stones on these. Kinda waiting for some good stones, honestly. I mean I think he needs a little bit of buff for sure. Let's see if we can't finish off this uh this Kina or finish off this uh sub weapon here. Uh, big money, big money. <laughs> Biggest RNG in the game. Let's go. LD Nat 5 right here. Boo, no. I'll be happy at 14. You can just get it there. If we can get it there to 15, be amazing. Cause that's HP. HP is always good. HP never lies.
And we're out of Sky Stones. Oh, it takes so much Sky Stones to do this shite. Um, <laughs> trash talking my uh, uh my guildmate. Uh, let's go. Let's see if we can't see how much sky stones we got left in this. Can we do it? Hundred and thirty eight thousand. This is I got like two more succeeds. I got like this one. And then come on. God, this menu system. Broskies. Okay. Come on, give me fifteen. Still need two LD for transcendence miles. Ooh. Almost there, man. It's it's nice to be able to look forward to it. I think I got enough for this one and one more. Uh, do I? Do I, though? Question mark? All right. Let's just pop it in there now, boys. I'm done. We're done with this. It's the last one. This is going in for the Mita set. Last chance, brother. Last chance. Ah, yep. So you're going to be plus 14 forever. That's what that says. And that's just the shield, man. I still have the weapon to do. Oh, we need sky stones in here, too. Just double check I'm going down the right route. I always... I did this once where I went down the wrong route and messed up my whole system. Okay, we're 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 in the final track now. We can't mess up. This is so dumb right here. Why do they have two separate tracks? I did this on the first shield that I got. I went and got that one accidentally. I just pressed the promote button and it sent me to that and then you can't you can't go to the next one. So dumb. Like why is that even a thing? It's so freaking dumb. Fifty thousand sky stones. Can we make it all the way on the sky stones that we have? We will see.
applying level one skill acceleration. That's the one we want. Oh, we have just enough sky stones to get us over the edge. With 12,000 sky stones left in the bank. Tomorrow's another, uh, uh, another day for rupture, so. All right. Honestly, I like this, but I also like the one that we just bought. All Star now. Which which is the the one that we just bought from the uh the shop? This is the Night Sky Rabbit one's nice, I guess. Oh, do I not get it unless I get both? Yeah, I kind of like the one I'm I'm rocking with. I like the outfit. Oh, we got more of these hails. Yeah, uh, let's get some more chakrams, baby. Using up all these pieces. Uh, I think I need more of these, too, but I want to see where I'm at with her. Oh, yeah. Oh, poor Josephine. A11 still. All right, I got to use the. I did get the shield. I got. Oh, I did get the shield. Oh, that's what you meant. I, I thought she. I thought I got the weapon. You're right. I did say I got the shield because I thought the shield kind of looked nice. Let's go back. Now that I know. Thank you, Sean. Such a good mod. Who's that one? Golden Wave Shield Overlay. Hmm. It's like. Like, I don't like the actual this one. This one looks like a flying kite. It doesn't look like a shield. So I don't like the one that comes with this set. The the TOH one is not bad. That one just doesn't match the colors. But I the spiky is like there's spiky and then everything else is curved. Like this this uh festival outfit or whatever, the monk outfit. So everything's like curves and li curvy lines, whereas this one's very spiky. But it works. It works. All right, I'm going to use the restroom again real quick. Uh, maybe we can do some Battlefield uh, or some Challenge Arena. We'll do one of those two things. Be right back. Not yet, unfortunately. No, uh, no three three yet. Still, uh, still this mess. Let's go look at some challenge. Uh, where are we at? We are ranked nine hundred and forty-eight on the North America server. Giga Chads. Hell yeah! I'm just gonna go straight from the bottom. There's no point in me trying to climb, like, legitimately. I like Brawl way better than I like Challenge Arena, to be fair. 
And that's not saying much. I'm basically once uh auto auto challenge arena comes out, that's the day I stop doing arena. That's just that's it. That's it for Cleve. No more. Can't be done. Avenger set too, eh? The wounds, sir. Uh... Oh, I'm still on Windstaff. Oof. Ooh, this Cesarian is on an attack speed build. Ooh, doggy. Leaf, weakest link. Weakest link. There we go. Still getting destroyed. Wunta is so good, man. I, I, I can't kill this Wunsa, man. Like, thank you. Bomb finally went off and got it. Good old Louise, man. Good old Louise. Dark Cleave. 
It's not buffed yet, bud. He is getting his Endure back. Not the exact same, but yeah, he's getting his Endure back. Yeah, animation is way too long. I agree. It's cool. Like, I like the jump up effect, but it's way too long. Like, I need my skills to be instantly usable. All right, new, uh, new, let's see. One more here. Can't use Juno, so we gonna use Chow and Yeah, I've, I've seen that too. She does have pretty long, and she's stuck in those animations too. Like when you're running around and you're not using your skills, you're, it's pretty easy for you to dodge, you know, most of the stuff I try to throw out at you, but as soon as you decide to use a skill, it's like, nope, I'm going to come and pounce on you. Because you're taking too long. Man, this um, water, uh, water Orbia really taking it to me, man. Oof. Trying to use my uh, hot keys more. It's hard, man. Like just one little Ophelia. But she's able to heal so much because the Orbia is applying a lot of dots. So the Ophelia really can keep up the heals. Because Ophelia is constantly healing when a dot is being applied. Yeah, you got some thoughts, uh, one and only? Heath might be the only one that makes me actually want to change things up a little bit. In all honesty, I'm going to bring Archer because it's just too much pain. Bro, the Warrior Summoner looks so badass. Like,
Okay, Ophelia dead. Next, Josephine. Holy moly. Oh, I just realized they have a Josephine and a Juno. What the hell are they doing? Finally. Ah! Oh my god, this Ophelia to Meyer combo right now is just. I, I just can't burst it through, man. And they're actually doing a significant amount of damage. I can't land anything on this Ophelia either. Freaking Archer doing nothing, man. There we go. Lots of debuffs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Another shield. Love it. Just gets cleansed off so quickly. All right, ult. Come on, bud. Oh, got it. Why did it take so long to ult? Oh, my God. Jesus. All right. Finally. Well, that took a while. No, that's good. I gotta I gotta go check in too, Ashley. Uh yeah, it looks like I think we're trying to go for recover our own bases. Was it a trim? Start trim on Y1? Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, look. It's a cleave defense, but it's got a cami in it. God. God, they got all the Giga Whales. Holy moly.
What a toxic composition. Holy moly. Like, like these are just... And that's the thing, though. You try to perna this to get rid of the Jaeger, and they just destroy you with the, the double. And then if you bring in a warrior to deal with them, then they die first, and it's... Ah, what... The whole like Jaeger revive assassin combo is so hard to deal with. Oh, there's TJ. <laughs> you know, I never saw the TA in the middle. I always thought it was Star War 420. It's Star War 420. I'm an idiot. I've been doing pretty decent in siege the last couple sieges. Five and oh and a couple of them, but ugh, here we go. This is this is gonna be the one where I maybe win one. I'm gonna try this one. Base uh 1.5. Oops. Yeah, no, they, the bird defenses are nutty, man. Bird plus Kina. It's just really insane. Um, Okay. I think we definitely need to have a Jamire on here. We just, we need to have that. This guy does the unrecoverable with a certain chance. It doesn't have beneficial effects. Block beneficial effect, apply surprise bombs. Okay, so strip, right? Steals, steals. So that's big. So I need to go more Ophelia. Ophelia Jemire hopefully is enough there. Uh, cleanse, double cleanse off of the unrecoverables and the block beneficial effects. The roots coming off of that. Strips, bombs, unrecoverables. Yeah. Um, next... We need to look at some more damage support and damage. I'm thinking we just do Chow into this, maybe. Um, but they also have reviving Kina. So I could do Celia. I also could do Kumar. Kumar would be pretty good here. Because what does she do again? I know she does Unrecoverable. Remove one benefit. So she strips two. Pull Unrecoverable. So lots of healing. We just bring additional immunity, but they strip and steal though. So it's like, it's not a huge benefit to bring immunity. Could just bring frigate and just buff up everything that I'm doing. think this might work what do i want here though honestly might want water 
just to reduce the amount of damage incoming because I need a last. I need to last as long as I can. Let Chow ult. Okay, we do have a nice, um, okay, they got a lot going on, I think we'll be, might be okay, we'll see. Land a little, uh, attack break on that. Okay, we are landing a ton of debox on them, like a ton, thanks to Frigate. Ciao. Let's build up, build up his thing. Okay, Chow's still building up though. We're doing okay. Okay, let's get rid of this Liebly so we can move on to the Kina. This Liebly is nuts. Thank you, though. Holy moly. My Chow is not gaining stacks very much. Everyone's back, man. What the hell? Hina's. Big unrecoverable. Kill the skin off. Come on. How do I still only have four stacks, man? I mean, I have four, um, a lot of immunity and cleanse. That's probably why. Boom. Got him. I was trying to, but the problem is my, my only DPS only was at four stacks that whole game. So I kept trying. But because I had so much cleanse, honestly, I should have had a different DPS. But I had so much cleanse and immunity going on because of the frigate that Chow never could gain stacks. So Chow was honestly not the right one. I probably should have brought like Jettos or something like that. But frigate was frigate was it there. Um, let's go. Frigate is in there, so I could counter the frigate. With Leo. I could just go and counter the frigate with Leo. Let's go 1.3. Uh... Let's see, what did he try in that one, though? He tried the Suppression, the Juno, the Root. I don't know if... Uh... I'm surprised, actually. I guess I'll call 1.3. Uh, I'm going to try that one. Okay, this got the better. 
So I think the Leo is important to counter the frigate. Got to counter that. Um, I think the Juno is really strong here. The beta is going to be a problem. can't really use her anywhere else. I didn't see any ragdoll defenses, so this might be the best place to use her as a remove immunity. Just additionally removing immunity. And more healing. Let Leo do all the damage. All right. I mean, Kumar's damage too. I already used my Ophelia Kumar. Or my Ophelia, so I can't use that with Kumar, but. Okay, got the attack break, so that's big. Dude, I am doing absolutely no damage. All right, just jeez, like I see it. I see it now. It's just bird OP, man, like blasted. Holy moly. And the freaking bird is so protected. And then you got all the provokes and you just can't kill the bird. What do you call it open to? Freaking bird defenses, man. Holy moly. I guess maybe an assassin comp, but then you have like provokes. Good double archer. Well, I still have Louise. I think Louise is still strong here. Yeah, I think this is it. Wait, what? Oh, is it not?
No, I guess Silox not reading the chat. Yeah, no, I saw that. He, they just didn't read our, our guild chat. Ooh, interesting. So... This one was a scary one. He brought his own Jaeger. How do you beat the, the Jaeger assassin re reviving comp? Bring your own Jaeger. I guess the Ophelia root might have really shut down the assassins too. Yep, another loss to the bird comp. Hey, I like got it though. I don't know how we take these out, though. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try 1.1. It's got the bird, though. The bird... With the strips. So how do I get rid of the bird quickly? Do I need to bring my own reviver? Okay, at least I got the uh, provoke on him for the time being. Oh boy, more immunity. And look, more immunity. Um, okay, something... Wow, just... Ugh, just doing no damage to the bird. Like, I just can't do anything to it. And then it just pops everything. Freaking birds, man. Yeah, that one's open. Might just save my last two because I ain't doing anything to these. All right, boys. Well, I think we got a lot accomplished. Did decent today.
There's the plus 12 weapon I'm going to use for my uh, Mita set. But I'm just looking for a little bit more. Uh... See, that one's six. That's okay. Oh, that one's horrible. I'm going to toss that one in there as another succession. I just need more Sky Stones now. Three, four, five, six. That's also six. It's not that great. This one's only two, though. I came came like that. So that'll be my Midas weapon right there. Probably going to go... Kind of just want to go fire or Midas weapon. And then I'm probably just going to go crit damage on all of my um, gems here. For my um, my new set of accessories, but the problem is I'm not getting any crit damage; just all defense. Do have one transcendent school? I don't think I'm ready to summon, though. I'll give you this one, though. I'll give you the uh, the legendaries as well. All right, let's get this win one. We get another Leo, maybe? Amazon. Do these waters. Now I don't really want another chow. It's like you going bye bye. Hmm, what do I want here? Fire? I don't know. And I give you guys the one light and dark. Easy nat five. Easy beta. No. Imp. All right, boys. Wifey just got home from her orthodontist appointment. Do, 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 do. We finished that. Still got to finish freaking uh, Galagos, man. Ugh. Thanks, man. I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next stream. Well, uh, we'll see. Maybe Saturday morning. What do I, what do I have going on Saturday morning? I am going to be off starting tomorrow, so. Oh, no, I got to take friends to the airport and then maybe stream after that. That'd be cool. Yeah, maybe Saturday. Uh, definitely going to be taking off for Christmas Eve and Christmas, but then we'll probably be back out streaming. I'm going to try to stream almost every day starting the 26th. So I'll be mostly Summoner's War stuff. You know, lots of PvP, but I'm going to finish up some other games that we've started and uh, play some new ones. Perhaps that we've been gifted. So, all right, boys. Uh, later. Hopefully, catch you on Saturday. Peace.